I've never gotten more action in my life in a one week period as I did in Puerto Vallarta. I just got back a few days ago and I haven't really posted much since because I've been sick, but it was totally worth it. Like it was off season. So there weren't all that many guys there, but the ones that were there were really, really cool. And quite a few of them happened to be really, really hot. Like prepare yourselves because there's gonna be quite a few Puerto Vallarta stories incoming and quite a few Puerto Vallarta like content that was made posted elsewhere. It was day three of the trip and we kind of had like a pretty tight knit group of friends at that point and we kept adding more as we were going along. I don't really know what it's like during on season. I haven't been there. I've just seen pictures and videos from friends who've gone, but it looked like it was like quite a bit more crowded when they were there. And I actually really liked that it was off season because you really got to know everybody at the resort. Like we arrived on a Tuesday and it was pretty dead everywhere around town. So I was like, okay, let's just like bring everyone that we've made friends with out to each bar together so that everywhere we go, it turns the fuck up. Like, I don't care what you look like at all when we're hanging out. Like I look for people who are like really good vibes, just fun, good energy, good hearted people. And by day three, we had all gotten pretty tight. Quite a few of those guys have been really attractive and I had already, you know, maybe fooled around with some of them. And we were staying at this place called the Almar. We went down to the lower pool called Mantamar and there happened to be this really, really sexy guy who walked in, but he was with a girl, which is very unusual at the Mantamar pool. Like he was giving me really straight bro vibes and I turned to my gay friends next to me and I was like, that, do you see that guy? Like, is, is he gay? Like what, what's happening? And they were like, I don't know, he's with a girl. Like probably not, but only one way to find out. And I kind of laughed and I was like, all right, I'm on it. So I went right over and introduced myself and I started chatting with him and I found out like within two minutes that he is definitely not straight. In fact, if you follow my Instagram, you've already seen pictures of him on my story and more to come. So I hit it off with him and the girl that he was with who happened to be his best friend and they were both really fun. After spending a while with him down there, our whole group decided to head back to the upper pool, but only like hotel guests are allowed at the upper pool. So I kind of like tried to bring him with me and they were like, no, he can't go. So I kind of like made up an excuse and was like, oh, well, like, they just need to get something out of my room really fast. Like they'll be quick, whatever. So they had to like fill out a waiver form to like go up to my room. And there was like a limit, like a time limit that they were allowed to be there. It's kind of bullshit, honestly. And in my head this whole time, I'm like kind of just thinking like, okay, how am I going to like get to have some fun with this guy while he has his girlfriend with him? Like, I cannot explain how badly I wanted to destroy this man. So they got to go up to my room with me. I actually, we tried to like go to the pool and they were like, oh no, they can't be here. So we went up to my room and we hung out there for a little bit. And then we were like, okay, like we should probably head back down and they'll have to take off. But dear God, was his friend cool. She was like, okay, like I'll wait outside for you guys for a little bit and you can meet me out there in a few minutes. Sorry, we ran out of time, followed part two.